Harvard, MIT, Princeton, Stanford, Caltech. Mainly people only know about these popular universities in the US. And most of the time people only apply to these few universities. In fact, when I was applying for grad school and when I took my GRE exam, I had a hard time even just to find out the names of four universities where I would send my free GRE scores. This essentially means that um, most people don't know about the hundreds and hundreds of universities which are there in the US. There are three different categories of universities in the US and there are over 100 universities which are very highly ranked and they have the best research in the world. So in this video, I will explain you how you can find a university. So universities in the US are divided into three main categories. The first category is R1, the second is called R2, and the third is R3. R1 means research one. So these are very high research activity universities. Similarly, you have high research activity universities and R3, which is doctoral and professional uh, universities. Very similar to R1 universities are special focus research institutions and Association of American Universities. These special focus research institutions are also institutions which have very high quality, world-class research, but for certain other reasons, they are not classified as R1 University. While on the other hand, Association of American University is a group of universities that includes universities both from the United States and Canada and their research is also among the top universities in the world. You can easily find the information about these universities on Wikipedia. If you just go on your favorite search engine and type list of research universities in the United States, it will bring you to this page. And here you have the list of all research universities in the United States. The very first ones are called R1 doctoral universities which have very high research activity. So these are the largest universities in the United States. There are 146 such institutions. So most of us only know about, you know, maybe 5, 10, 15 um, universities which are very popular. But there are in fact over 100, almost 150 institutions which are equally good. They have really high amount of research. They have almost all disciplines that you can think of physics, chemistry, history, anthropology, arts, uh, dance. So these are really big universities with, with big research and PhD programs. They have hundreds um, of millions, several billion dollars uh, they spend in research every year. And these institutions graduate hundreds and hundreds of PhD students every year. So if you want to come to the US to do a PhD, I would highly recommend to take a look at the list of universities, which is among R1. And don't just go for the popular ones because most people only apply to the popular universities. So they have, they get a lot more applications and the chances of getting into one of those universities is quite low. On the other hand, if you apply to one of these universities, you will get the same quality of education, same quality of exposure to research, funding, everything, but you will have a better chance to get in. So I would highly recommend you look at the list of the, these universities and try to find a few places where you would like to apply. So after research one universities, the next level of re universities are called R2 or doctoral universities. These universities are also very good. They have a lot of research. They have a lot of PhD programs. The reason they are in the R2 category is that their research and PhD program is smaller in size. That does not mean that the quality of research at these universities is any smaller. They just have a smaller budget to support research and they have a smaller number of students that they admit every year and they graduate every year. So these universities sometimes have research in very focused areas. 
Uh, they might not have all programs. They might have physics, chemistry, mathematics, uh, but they might not have some liberal arts program. So this is the main reason these universities are listed as R2 universities. There are currently 133 institutions which are classified as R2 level doctoral universities. These universities are also very good. And if you can find a program where uh, which you like at these universities, you have a much better chance of getting in because most people apply to an R1 level program. R1 level programs have a higher number of students that they admit. People generally tend to apply to R1 level universities. Also, sometimes the ranking of these universities are lower. So most people tend not to apply to R2 level university. So if you apply to an R2 level university, you have a much better chance of getting in. So if you are interested in coming to the US and if you find a program, if you find a, a institution or a professor whose research you like, you should definitely contact them because if you apply to an R2 level university, your chances of getting in, especially if you have contacted the professor is almost certain. My university is North Carolina A&T State University. It's in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, if you are interested in applying to North Carolina State University, please feel free to contact me and I would help you uh, in the application process. Our three level universities are doctoral professional universities are the universities which sometimes do have a doctoral program, but the budget of these doctoral programs is much, much smaller than R1 or R2 level university. The main issue with R3 level university might be that uh, their budget is very constrained. So they might not be able to support your research for a long time. So you have to be a little bit careful when you apply to an R3 level university. So if you really know of the R3 level program very well, and if you know the professor, you have personal relationship uh, through emails or some other type of contact, then you can apply to an R3 level university. In addition to these universities, there are universities which are classified as special focus research institutions. Currently, there are 23 institutions in this list. These institutions are one of the best research institutions in the entire world. Some of these institutions are the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, which is New York, uh, Baylor College of Medicine in Texas and so on. These are again very, very good quality research institutions. They have the best research in the world. The main reason they are not classified as R1 or R2 level universities is these are special focused institutions. So they only work on a very specific research area. These institutions could be a medical college or a hospital and their research might be focused on some very specific medical areas. So such type of institutions do not have a wide array of programs. They are very, very focused. And because they are very focused, they have a smaller number of students. Sometimes they don't even have a regular undergraduate program. And that's why they are not considered a university, but they have very good PhD programs. So if you can get into these, these are one of the most uh, sought after research programs in the world. So if you're considering applying to the US, I would highly recommend you look at a list of the special focus institutions and try to find a place um, which suits your interest. If you're planning to apply to the US, take a look at the list of R1 universities and R2 universities and special focus institutions and select a few from each of these lists. Of course, it will be much easier to get into an R2 level institution than an R1 level institution or a special focused institution. So based on how strong you think your application is, you should pick a few institutions from the R1 list and a few from R2 list. Uh, don't just focus on the institution that are very popular. Some other institution that might not be so well known can actually provide you a much better education and you will have a much better chance of getting into those institutions. If you have further question about how to select a university, uh, feel free to drop the question in the comment section and I would be happy to answer them. Thank you.